Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies, now here on day 415 of our broadcast. And Watching Chickies is the daily live stream here on Reddit, and then later YouTube, featuring the lives and developments of my chickens. And hello there, Epona Mom. Thank you very much for the love award. That is much appreciated. Got the chickies out today, doing a little bit of foraging. They're right here in kind of our underbrush, doing their best to hunt for buggies and hunt for the right bit of vegetation. Stormy seems very keen for the hunting mode. He's actually not going uh, for some of the clover I see there, which Braveheart is really going for. Uh, Chip is with um, Dale and Sweetheart right now. All three of them are together. Um, so far, uh, Chip does a lot better when Stormy is um, apart from the flock. So these days what happens is largely I'm separating, separating the flock into two. Uh, Stormy is out with the two older girls, um, Braveheart and Kagome, during the day. And then Chip is with um, Dale and Sweetheart during the day. Oh, you're really capturing some flies and stuff there, Stormy. Um, and then at night, Chip um, sleeps um, in his little sleeping area uh, upstairs. Um, and hangs out with me for a while. And then we just kind of repeat, repeat the process the next day. Um, so I'm going to be trying in the next few weeks to attempt to socialize Stormy more with Chip. But, you know, Stormy's gotten a little bit aggressive with Chip a few times. Um, has cornered Chip a few times. So I don't want to put Chip in a super stressful situation. Um, it might... You know, within the next month or so, um, we're probably going to be seeing some changes for the living situation uh, with the with the chickens. Um, there have been some changes of circumstance um, with uh, what's going on over here uh, for my and Lauren's uh, personal life. Um, so, you know, it might be a little bit of a moot point, um, so we'll see. Um, either way, the chickens, like, care and comfort are our priority. We want them to live happy, healthy lives. That's never changed, and, um, yeah, they're all definitely going to be happy, um, and we'll figure out everything. Kagoma is so happy right now going through the underbrush. Look at all those kicks. Such a good girl. Such a good girl. Oh my, one of the chickens had a little bit of a poo. And it looks like they have attracted all of the flies over there. That's all right, you can have a few poos over here in the lawn. It just makes it healthier for them. Oh, and there goes Braveheart trying to get some of those flies. Yeah, you make your own little trap for them, don't you? Flap, 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 flap. Braveheart. Yeah. I'm just saying hi. I'm just saying hi. Yeah. Come here, Braveheart. Come here, girl. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Come say hi to Dad. Come say hi to Dad. 
Good girl. Yeah. Oh, immediately doing a little bit of preening there. Happy little hen you are. Love seeing all three of you guys together. Oh, back down with the rest. My little peep squad. Oh, gazoon tight there, Kagome. <laughs> I remember when all three of you were just three tiny little fluff balls. And look how you've grown. You guys are actually parents now. Ah, uh, that's funny there, Epona Mom. You've been watching my stream since the start, and the other day you told your daughter that you needed to feed the horsies, and she looked at you like you had lost your mind. <laughs> oh, there you go, Braveheart. You're getting in on it as well, but... You like eating the greens a little bit more than Kagome does. Kagome seems to be all about trying to find that protein today in the form of uh, insects and bugs. Whereas Braveheart seems to really, really just want mostly clover today. And I want the mosquitoes to stop biting me. They are a pernicious bunch. Oh yeah. Epona Mom, I'm sure she would understand if she had uh, seen some of the streams here. And we've had quite a few lovely highlights over the past year and change. I especially like the stream where uh, Chip hatched. That was such kind of like an explosive hatch that he had. any stream where we've had uh, the chickens have yogurt has always been a fun one. Kagome always does enjoy her yogurt with a lot of vim, vigor, and zest for life. Now, if some of you are watching and wondering why I am uh, just kind of standing here, in this case sitting here, uh, with the chickens, um, that is so they are a little bit more protected while they're going about. Um, predators will give chickens a lot wider berth if they have a human around them. Um, and we want to make sure our little chickens are safe, they're not going to be kind of hunted while they're out here by, you know, hawks and such. So that's why they're just going around unmolested. Hey Braveheart! Braveheart! Good girl! Yeah! Good girl. I love how Stormy's trying to help Kagome over there, but sometimes I'm not sure if he's helping or hindering her. Because she is quite efficient at kicking everything, but he seems to be, well, not nearly as good. Uh, yeah, our chickens are, uh, vaccinated, so... They're vaccinated for Marek's disease, and they're vaccinated for um, Salmonella. So, uh, they, um, you know, it's not really a danger to get Salmonella from our chickens. Um, they were safe from the respiratory disease known as Marek's that um, does affect chickens worldwide. 
Uh, Marek's disease is usually more of a disease that can really affect chickens uh, who are like six months old and younger. It's a respiratory illness. And uh, fortunately, chickens don't really have to worry about COVID-19. At least, not to my knowledge, anyway. You a happy little hen there, Braveheart? Yeah? You find him much down there? Oh, not too much? Oh, dear. You already find all the good stuff? Yeah, you're doing your best. Oh, good girl. Yeah, I mean, in reality, um, pretty much all chickens can be vaccinated for salmonella. So it, it would be no danger for you to get salmonella from any chicken or any of their eggs. Um, but the reason why it doesn't happen is because it is expensive to do that for all chickens. So it's really just an expense reason, um, unfortunately. You guys are really making a job out of this. And you're getting really, really far back there, Kagome, so be, be careful, okay? Oh, such a good girl, Braveheart. You're not going deep down over there. You're staying here, right in the yard. <coughs> yes, Stormy, I'm here. I'm not leaving you. I'm just walking a few steps away. Let's see. Oh, this is a great bundle for you, Braveheart. Great bundle. <coughs> oh, you're a happy hen. Yes, you are. You love your clover. You love your clover. There you go. There you go. Oh yeah, if you have coyotes in your area, you would definitely need to have a uh, covered run. Uh, for our uh, chickens, what, we, what I did was... Uh, this is actually a, uh, a paw hut that I converted to be a chicken run um, that I attached to the uh, coop door over here and kind of um, lashed against it so it's flush and they can kind of enter and exit the coop area. And then they have two ways of aggress over here when I open up the doors for them. So it gives them much more room to kind of go around when I can't be outside with them. Because otherwise it would get a little bit cramped there, um, especially when it comes to all six of the chickens. Uh, the only issue would be if I was keeping them here um, at night, uh, local predators would be trying to get in, um, by digging underneath and getting them that way. Uh, but because they're not actually living there at night, um, so any nocturnal guests, uh, you know, can kind of hear that there is nothing living inside of there, which is why nothing's really tried to dig in there at the moment. Uh, and it seems like Kagome is in clover mode now. That's why she's kind of moved away from the underbrush. Ooh, Stormy, you had some pep in your step there, didn't you? You did, you did. Hmm. Happy little clucks from you. Uh, yeah, I think, um, we got this coop from, um, the, what is it called? The Tractor Trailer Company? I, I know they have, like, lots of stores across the U.S. Um, you know, uh, the chickens don't really sleep in it, but 
here you can have like different bedding options. This one has like three kind of nesting options right there. Um, it has the big tray that you can move out to kind of clear anything that might build up here that you can just kind of pull out. Um, it is steel reinforced. It has this ladder that you can actually pull in and out. You can close the uh, front there as well. Yes, the tractor supply company, that's it. <coughs> yes, Mr. Stormy, I hear ya. I hear ya, boy. I was just walking away for a little bit. So needy. So needy, my little Stormy. Yeah? Oh my. I'm coming in for a hug. I'm coming in for a hug. There you go. There you go, Stormy. Yeah, my little boy needed a hug. There you go. Are you happy now? You happy that you got a cuddle? Oh, well, good boy. Good boy. All right, you go protect the girls, okay? You go protect the girls. Yeah. Oh, no worries, Epona Mom. Glad I could be helpful. It is lovely to have a bunch of the chickens around. They're quite lovely little animals. And, you know, the three breeds that we have here, the Onigadori, the Silky, and the Ayam Samani, all of them are quite people-friendly birds, if not the best producers of eggs. So far, Kagome's actually been outproducing Braveheart as of late for the past, like, week and a half, like, two to one. Like, Kagome has really kind of been like, okay, I am now laying eggs again, and I'm just gonna keep popping them out almost every single day. Uh, we got these guys from a place called Feather Lover Farms in California. Uh, they specialize in some more of, of these unusual breeds that you don't really see as much in the U.S. Um, I'd highly recommend them. Um, I believe they can, well, they can um, ship uh, live chicks through the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, that's how we got ours. Uh, you, they can overnight them or two-day them through the mail. Um, and yeah, it, it worked out quite brilliantly for us. Um, you know, lovely little chickens. So, Feather Lover Farms. Hey, Mr. Stormy. Are you getting thirsty, boy? Did you want more water? Here, I could open up for you. Oh, you're trying to get to Kagome? Yeah, you have to walk around. Oh, you're doing your mating dance for her? Oh, dear. Such happy little chickies today. so different, but they have made such a lovely family. Yeah, I know. I'm your family, Stormy. I'm your family. I'm the big weird chicken without any actual feathers that watches over you guys, that gives you treats, that gives you cuddles, and probably treats you better than 99% of all chickens in the entire world. Through thick and thin, I'm going to be doing my best to make sure you guys have such happy lives. Miss Kagome. Miss Kagome. Why you run? Why you run? Come here. Come here, Miss Kagome. Come here, Miss Kagome. Come here. Where are you going? Where are you going? 
Where are you going? She's doing the Miss Kagome run from me. Oh no. Oh no. I love how Stormy joined me on that little chase. Well, things are getting a lot more overcast right now, so I'm getting worried that we might be getting a little bit of rain soon. So I think I'm going to try to wrap things up here, reintroduce the chickies back to the chicky playroom. Oh, oh, guys, 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 buggy, 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 buggy. There you go, Braveheart, you got a buggy. I think that was a daddy long legs. All right, well, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Opona Mom, for uh, today. Um, yeah, I will be back tomorrow with another broadcast. And anyone just kind of silently watching, thank you as well. Um, this is a daily live broadcast, so feel free to follow me here on Reddit. And we will be back tomorrow. All right, everyone have a lovely day, and we hope to see you again soon.